Oh, it's recording. Okay. Hey y'all! So today I'm shopping at the Goodwill outlet. As you can see, I'm wearing a cute outfit and hair extensions. But I was really excited to see what was in store. So let's check it out. Yeah, you kissed me in the backseat of a taxi ride. Yeah, we said things that were cheesy, but we meant them. And here I go inside, there was a lot of clothes, just bins and everything, all things, clothes and fabrics and everything like that. And here I dig in, and I don't see anything so far, but down the run, I do find some cute things along this video. Here was this cute Victoria's Secret bag with a lot of embellishments and shine onto it and I liked the glitter on this bag. I didn't get it because I don't need a bag but I thought this was very great high quality bag. This was a laptop bag. I already had some and I didn't get it because I just didn't need one and it didn't have a handle. And here's this really shiny jacket. I just wanted to check this out but it looked really interesting and it was pink and rose gold and I wanted to try it out because I was really interested. It kind of looked cool. This was a really cute Mickey Mouse shirt and I think it was really small so I didn't get it. But I love finding Disney finds and the art was really nice on it. This was a really cool find. This was an Esmeralda figurine from Notre Dame, uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame, and it, it was made in China, but I thought it was such a cool find. It's Esmeralda. I thought this figurine had that old school look to it because I don't see figurines that have that kind of style anymore, but I thought this was really cool. <laughs> Here's Mickey Mouse, another Disney find, but this was like kind of like a baby's toy, I think, and it said Disney in the logo, and here I am trying out the rose gold jacket. I didn't get it because it was just... It was too girly for me, but it was really cool to try it on. It was really warm, and I liked that furry hoodie on it as well. It's very attractive. So cute! I tried on these really cute wings, and they looked like rave wings that I could wear at like some festival. And I thought it was just really cute. I didn't get it because I just didn't want blue or dark blue and I thought it was really light on my back I just think it would be really cool to wear for like raves <laughs> this was a really cute high quality backpack and it was like pink and I really liked the leather touch on it it looked kind of like from Claire's. I found this really cute 80s styled jacket and it reminded me of the 80s and the fashion and the baggy you know like um, jacket type and I had to get this because the style was just really cute and here I tried it on and I loved it look how baggy it is it just has that like baggy fashion to it I don't know how to explain it wasn't like you know tight around me but I liked how it gave me some air and it was also really cute I think this was my favorite find out of all today but I found a lot of other cool things today but I just thought this was a really cool um thing that I would definitely wear out like grungy and I could piece it together with other outfits that I really like and it was pink so that was awesome and here is me being a goofball <laughs> just me trying it on and checking myself out in the camera <laughs> this was an interesting shirt because it had a big big graphic on it and I thought big graphics are really cool to see on shirts I don't know the artist so I didn't get it I love finding me some pastel and cute finds and this was a really cute pastel half top or something like that. I thought it was cute though. And another pastel find, a cute v-neck um, half top. And here is one of my interesting finds. This was kind of like Lolita and I really love Lolita dresses. And it was a full on dress and I tried it and it fit me exactly. Here is another really interesting Disney find. It's a monster's jacket and this was really cute. It had the horns and the face and the patterns on it. And I think it, I think it was like a, a, a onesie, I think, but I didn't get it. Ooh, and then I found this really cute Renaissance top and I wore it already a few times, but this was really, really cute and super elegant. Here is a better look on the top, but you can see what I mean. It is so cute and unique and it really has that really nice stretch to it. 
So I didn't really fully try it on. I actually just put my arms through the sleeves and it's just on top. It's not really fully worn, but you can see it really fits me super well and I got it. I found this really interesting edgy top and it had like stripes and it had really cute logo on it with colors and I thought it was cute until I realized it just didn't look super like my type. I just didn't get it because it didn't look that cute to me. So the horror fan that I am, I found this Gremlins doll as a Mogwai and I was really obsessed because I found another horror toy and this was FNAF. Freddy and this was real cute Fazbear and I just loved it. I'm at the mall and I see Pokemon! There's Pokemon everywhere. Oh, wait, hold on, let me check this out. This is like a Pokemon booth that I saw. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, there's a Pokeball. What the heck? That's so cool. Why do they have this all of a sudden? There's more Poke stuff. Pokestore.com What? Oh, this is... Okay. Poke stuff. Okay. Oh, you can basically touch this. Wow. Oh. Let me see this in the back. So yeah, I ended up in the mall and then I went into Hot Topic and this mall was um, after I went thrifting. There was this really cute corset that I really liked. I liked the clear vinyl in the middle and I thought that would be really cute for cute pink outfits that really could match with that pink corset. And there was a lot of cute items that I saw today at Hot Topic. I really liked the kawaii products that I saw around and cute colorful other things and grungy stuff. I love grungy fashion and I just had to stop at the Hot Topic for that reason because the fashion is something that is definitely my fashion and my style here were other things that i had to go and check out and there was tons of little accessories and lashes and this was one of my favorite i really love nightmare before christmas and this was one of the toys in that one scene in the christmas i think christmas scene and as i look on the other side i see this really cute sanrio cardigan and there was a few of them i think but there was all these cute Sanrio finds and the purses and Kuropi. And here is Misa Amane from Death Note, my favorite anime actually. <laughs> and a Sailor Moon jacket. Over on the other side, there was some Loungefly Pokemon backpacks. And I think there was a Sailor Moon one, I can see right there. And then there was this Naruto jacket, all these cool stuff. And here is a really cool Scream jacket cardigan that I saw and I love horror as I said before. And then as you know, Hot Topic is really popular for all its graphic tees and different varieties of shows and movies and everything like that. And here are where the pops were that I checked out for a little while. I think there was a lot of cute pops. Um, I don't own pops myself and I don't think I would want to. <laughs> I just think pops don't look as great as a figurine, but that's just my honest opinion. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with pops. But anyways, here was all the bunches of stuff that I just kind of looked over. And there was a lot of cute lounge flies. Like, I was obsessing. But yeah, I already have like a few lounge flies. I don't know if I can collect more, honestly. I just don't want to fill my house with a bunch of these big purses. There was these tiny, tiny figurines and they were from Pop again. I thought this was just really cute seeing like cute small figurines and small versions of the Pops. But I just think those are just so cool. And I love Stranger Things. I think these were just stickers, but um, they were just so tiny I couldn't tell. And Nightmare Before Christmas and these tiki i think those are tiki cups but those just looked super i love the tiki style by the way i think that's just so cool for a product and here and my friend go to a different mall and i think it was a different day actually when i filmed this but i saw these really cute uh i think i forgot what they're called but they're like little cute figurines that you can actually shop for they were super super affordable and you can find all these other cute knickknacks and all uh, i think that was uh, is that a mini so did i just change to a mini so 
Oh no, I didn't. Okay, never mind. This is the Saints shop. But yeah, there was just all these cute, cute figurines. And I love the style and the characters and the faces and everything like that. I love the makeup on the faces too. Um, they were really cheap or they were really affordable little figurines. And look how cute they all are. I just love how cute each of them look. And I, there was the different types of other figurines. I think this was a different type of figurine too. But um, look at these. I think what are they called? I don't know what the brand of that doll looking one is, but I think that one has that unique doll Barbie look to it. And I really love some dolls that I see. Yeah, this was one of the pop culture shops that was in the mall. And I saw a lot of pops here. There was tons and tons and hundreds of pops. Like I said, I don't think I would collect pops because I feel like I would probably want more pops and more if I had one and collect the rest of the series or something. But I just think they're just so, I think they're addictive and collectible. So I just figured I don't think I really want to go into this. <laughs> Otherwise, I will catch myself in an addiction but also i don't really like the pops just because it doesn't look that you know like detailed like other figurines are but anyways don't forget to subscribe to vicky bunny for more fun stuff by me and see you guys in the next ones